Hello, welcome to Maths with Niall. Today we're learning about function machines. Hi Niall, you have some function machines behind you. Yes, I like to call them cooking machines. Oh, can you explain the first one how they work? So like, for so the rules are inside the machine. So, so, so the, this is, the, the rule for this one is plus seven. Okay. So it's 4 plus 7 and 33 plus 7. And, and what's the 4 and the 33 called? The input and then it's going to go into the um, cooking machine. It's going to cook up the numbers, add them together okay. and then it's going to come out and the answer is going to be there. And when it comes out, what's that called? The output. Okay, so can you do the first example for us? Okay, so 4 plus 7, um, 7 plus 4, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Good, I like how you turned that around to make it easier because yeah. addition is commutative. Well done. Eleven, thirty-three plus seven. 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Very good. So in that function machine, when the input was 4, what was the output? 11. Good. Let's look at the second function machine. What are you going to do for that one? It's 7 takeaway 4. So it's so the, rule, the opposite of So the, the rule is take away four for that function machine. Yeah. Okay, so work it out and let's see what outputs you get. Seven take away four. Um so um so we got seven mm -hmm. take away two four mm -hmm. three. Okay. So when the input is seven, the output is three. Good. What about the second one? 18 take away 4 equals 14 because 4 plus 4 equals... Very good, 14. Yes, so 14, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4. Okay, good. Now that third function machine. It's three lots of five. So, what's so the, the rule? rule is times five. Okay. Um, you can just count in fives for this. So three. I mean, for so five, ten, fifteen. Good. I'm not sure how many ones we're gonna need because we've only got one, one, one left. So fifteen. Um, um, ten, five, ten. What are you doing? Can you explain? I'm counting up in five. So okay. five, ten, fifteen, sixteen. Sorry. Fifteen. Start again. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five. Okay, so nine times five is forty-five. Very good. 45. Nine times five is 45. Okay, okay, now eight divided by two. How many lots of two are in eight? Mm -hmm. So I know a good way of doing this. So what's half of eight? Four. And then what's half of four? Two. So, and then if you do it again, then you've had, you have another four and then half of four is two, so four lots of two. Okay, you, you're, you've lost me with the explanation. <laughs> so eight divided by two is how many lots of twos and eight? Yeah. So can you count out in two? Two, four, six, eight. Four. Oh, four, good. So you were correct, but I didn't really understand <laughs> exactly. So eight divided by two is four. What about 20? Divided 20 by two. divided by 4. By 2. I mean 2. Um, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. I'm getting mixed up with 12, 12 14, 16, 18, 20. 10. So 10. Okay. 10! Ten, ten, ten. 
this video flying quick. Okay, now this one. What's yes. different with this one? It has two boxes. Two boxes with two rules. So how are yeah. you going to work it out? So first we have to do 10 times 10 equals 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so ten times ten is a hundred, and then what? Yes. But and then so a hundred, and then take away five equals ninety-five. Okay, ninety-five. Let's put the ninety-five <laughs> up on the board. No. So the ten goes in. The first rule is to times by ten, get a hundred. Yes. It comes out and it goes into another box yes. where the rule is minus 5 so we have yeah. to take away 5 from 100 to get 95 okay. good job so, so okay you want to do that one yeah 6 times 10 so 10 20 can you count using your fingers 10 20 30 40 50 60 okay 60 Anyway, 5 equals um, um, uh, 55. 55, good. 5, 5. 5, 5. 5, 5. Okay. Okay, very good. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, I'm so what information is given there in that function machine? The answer. But What's we... the answer called? 11. What's it called? Oh, the output. The output. And what but... else is given? Huh? What other information is given? There's, there's plus 3. The rule. So how So can take you... away 3. So 11 take away 3. 11, 10, 9, 8. Okay, so the input would be? Eight. Very good. Number. No, the input. Input okay. is And eight. you can, how can you check it now to make sure that it's right? Um, you can start with the eight. Eight plus three. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Very good. So you've ah. done subtraction as the inverse operation. Okay, so the second one, let's do the second one quickly. So explain how you, what's missing? Um, the input again. Good, so how would you work out the input there? So, 3 plus 7. Good, so we would do the inverse, which is the reverse of takeaway, which is add. Yeah. So what would you get? So 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Ooh, did you no. check that correctly? 7, 8, 9, 10. Very good. So let's put the 10 up 10. as the input. And if you checked it over from the input, 10 take away 7 is 3, so you know you've done it correctly. Yes, 10 okay, take away... Okay, very good. Let's do, let's do the one with the multiplication. Okay, so... Um, so... Uh, How are you going to work it out? What, do, what is it saying? It's saying that something times 5 will give 10. 2 times. 2 times 5 is 10. Yeah. But how would you work it out if you had to do the reverse, if you had to start from the output? Do you know what the inverse of times is? Ooh! Ha, ha, ha. Divided. So divided. 10 divided by 5. It's 2. So how many lots of 5 is in 10? 2. Very two. good. So the inverse of times is divide. So let's do yeah. the last, the next example there. Okay, so how would you find the input if the output is 6? Okay, 
So, I want how many three, lots of two is in six? No. How that's... many lots of six is, is, is in? Let's two. think about what's the inverse of division. Times. Times. Oh, so six times two. Yes. It is. Six lots of two. Two. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 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 So put your 12 as your input. One, two. Very good. So we're just going to finish off with me asking, what is the inverse of addition? Take away? Yes, subtraction. Mm. And what is the inverse of multiplication? Division? Yes. Okay. Good um, job, Niall. That was really, really good. Bye. Hope you enjoyed our video. And if you did, click that like button. Bye. Subscribe now. Bye. Now we have some practice questions for you to try. When you're ready, pause the video and have a go. When you're finished and ready for the answers, press play.